and y'all got the same athletes that I didn't want to see go play in the WNBA that signed up over there. I don't want to go watch them no Brittany Ground to go play no more. And she better go sign. I don't want to watch that. You better go sign up for Europe. You crazy as hell if you do, though. You already ass already got locked up over there once before. Hey, go take your crazy ass back over there again. U.S., y'all better not trade her for no damn uh, uh, monster like y'all had. That motherfucker was the, what was, what was his name? He's like the king of guns or some crazy shit like that. We traded him. That man, the king of war, some crazy shit. We done traded him for Brittany Griner, the WNBA basketball player. <laughs> what the the <laughs> He like the killer of war, some crazy name like that. They they swapped him like that's the even trade. They don't damn even trade. This motherfucker's a killer. <laughs>guys it's your boy chocolate i just want to say thank you for everybody who's been tuning in and rocking with your boy man the subscriber count is going up it's real over here man we almost to 4k bro so let's just keep on pushing this thing forward share these videos out there with your friends man and hit that like button hit the like button for this video man so it can trigger that algorithm thing and help other people out there in the world get them a little bit of chocolate in their life because you know everybody can use a little bit more chocolate <laughs> look guys I thank y'all for rocking with me. Let's go ahead and get to this video. The WNBA played itself. That motherfucker, it played itself and it played us as well. Wanted to bring us over there and wanted us to believe that it was a good product. This was nothing, it had nothing to do with CC at all. Nothing to do with Kaylin Clark. They had no plans on bringing Kaylin Clark in there and making her the face of the WNBA. Not one time did they want to go and show her to be the one. It has always been about Asia. They was pumping up Asia to be the MVP before the season even started. Anybody who got Kaylin Clark on their team is going to have all those national televised games. Anybody. The Fever only chose her because they knew that. They didn't choose her because they wanted her. They chose her because they knew that that's what was. Come on, guys. They had all these broadcast national, like these national broadcast shows lined up even before they made their first pick. Can you imagine if they did not pick Kaitlyn Clark? Nobody was going to come watch any of those games. Anybody who got Kaitlyn Clark on their team was going to bring in a ton of people, and they knew it. They knew it. They didn't line up all the best teams in the WNBA for, for Kaitlyn to go against so y'all can see how good Kaitlyn is. No, they lined up all the best teams in the WNBA to go against Kaitlyn because they knew that it was going to be so many people there to watch her that they believe that the people like me and you were going to be watching this game to watch the other girls play. I watched the game and I'm like, dang, man, Kaylin getting her ass toe up out there. And he's like, oh, okay, man, Kaylin's going off. Or I would see one of these players. I see just one of them. But it wasn't a whole team effort that I was looking at. I'm still looking at that team like they trash. They wide open. You better hit all those shots. The type of defense that Christy Sides runs, you better hit every damn shot you can take out that mug because you're going to be wide open. They playing man all game, running around out there like chicken with their head cut off. Coach Sides could not figure it out. So all these teams was bringing their best. They bringing their best. They knew, hey, when we go against the fever, we know we're going to be on TV. And they ain't never been broadcast like this before. Not the WNBA. This many eyes has never been on the WNBA. And instead of them fixing their product, they kept it exactly the same. They kept it the same way that kept us from watching it. They was like, oh, shit. We finally going to get people over here to watch and see how great we are. Watch this, guys. Hell no. Nothing has changed for me watching the WNBA now. One day out there, you know what the thing that changed for me watching the WNBA? Kayla Clark. That's what changed for me. Being able to, I ain't watched no damn playoff games for no WNBA. I didn't watch none of those games leading up to the championships for the comments. I didn't. I watched the championship game just like the MLB. Same way. I was, I'm was. i not watching no Astros games leading all the way up to the damn championships. I'm not watching no Yankees. I'm not watching none of them damn games. But as soon as the championship rounds start, the playoffs, I'm watching it because it's exciting. And listen, there was no excitement in the WNBA. None. Zero. It was not exciting. But when you play in the finals because you got two teams, it's really, we got to win, guys. This is going to be the first WNBA championship. And it was. it was. It was great. But then after that, it was like, okay, that's, what, what, what's next? What is going to be the evolution of WNBA basketball? 
and they couldn't find it. The WNBA hit its peak in 1997. <laughs> That's right. As soon as WNBA started, that was the peak of the WNBA. That was it. And then, yes, you can say that the rise of Asia brought some more eyes to the sport, but I think it just brought them thirsty-ass dudes that want to come and watch us. Some of these, these like, black grandparents and shit like that. I don't think it really brought any, like, real attention to the sport. I don't think it brought no real attention. I, I think the, the rivalry aspect of it all, right, is what brought attention to the sport afterwards. Because when Caitlyn is on her rise, she's bringing in those... Um, those Angel Reese fans, the ones that want to see Angel Reese win just because, you know, they on her side because she's black. I'm serious. They want to see her win because she's a black woman. That's just pretty much what it is, guys. Face it. If it, it what, if, what if Angel Reese was a white woman that did this shit to her? It wouldn't have got no traction. None, none whatsoever. It wouldn't have meant anything. But it was a black woman that did it. So early black people looked at it like, that's right. We got to get behind her because you look what she did to the white girl. And the thing is, is like, the fuck did you even do that to her for? She didn't do it to you. It was stupid for you to do that. But you know what? We don't want to We don't want to go that way. We don't want to keep going that way. But that's the eyes that they was trying to bring in on the sport. The people that y'all could have got to watch this sport because they wasn't watching the WNBA. I'm going to tell you right now, probably 80% of Kalen Clark fans were not watching the WNBA. I, I'm going to just throw that out there. That's a big-ass number, but I really believe it, you know, it might be higher. It might be higher because there are a lot of people that are saying right now that are Kalen Clark fans. They're like, you know what? I, if, the, if the league don't change, I don't think I can watch it anymore even with Kalen playing. I've heard Kalen Clark fans say that. So letting you guys know that people would watch if the treatment around that league would change. But y'all don't want to change. Y'all don't want to change. This girl brought everything to this point. Y'all want an Asia to be the face? Y'all want an Asia to be the face of the WNBA when Kayla Clark comes to play her that they have to change. They got to change the venue that they play in. Guys, they just played the Aces and Liberty game was at the Michelob Ultra Arena, right? In Las Vegas. It, it was a packed house. It was sold out, right? 10,000 people, it was sold out. That same thing happened with Caitlin Clark in their first game against the Aces. They played at the Michelob Ultra Arena and it was sold out capacity. So they're like, yeah, look, look at what we did. But they didn't realize this shit. There were people who were still trying to get tickets for the next game they played. They had to move it over to the T Mobile Arena. And they had 20,000. You mean tell me, they doubled it. Look, guys, they probably could have tripled that shit if they had at a bigger arena. They sold out the T Mobile Arena for Caitlin Clark versus Angel Re uh, uh, versus Asia. For the Fever versus Aces. They sold out the arena. They doubled for that game yesterday night between the Aces and Liberty. It was at 10,000. They wasn't finna fit in no damn T-Mobile arena. Not in that game. Look, guys, the damn game came on during football games. I didn't even know they were playing. I had no idea they was playing. You know how I learned they was playing? I went to ESPN to see what the scores were around NFL, right? And when you clicked it on, one of the stories in there was saying that the, the game, the, the score of the game, I was like, what the hell? The game is on? It shit wasn't even being promoted like that. They finally put your ESPN. They put your ESPN... No, they didn't even put your, they put your ABC. <laughs> they knew it. ABC took an L. They took an L for that game. 10,000 people in attendance. How did, the views, everything has gone down. But age is supposed to be the face. So why in the hell did she draw the same crowd? Why did y'all do this? Why are you over there bitching and complaining? Asia, why? You know what this is? Y'all got new eyes watching y'all. New eyes watching something that has not changed. New eyes are coming in and like, man, what the hell is this? I don't want to watch this. And you guys are getting mad at that fan. You're not getting mad at somebody that's racist. Ain't nobody. Ain't no damn Caitlin Clark fans got no time to be sitting behind no computer making no damn memes. Or sit up there doing taking nobody's face off of somebody's body and put it on a ain't no ain't no Caitlin Clark, no real Caitlin Clark fans doing that, guys. Y'all know this. Real Caitlin Clark fans have families. They have families. What the hell? 
they, and they 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 workers. These guys work to be at these games, guys. The tickets cost a lot of money for where they be sitting at. The game that I went to, it was people sitting around, sitting around the court, court side. Them tickets is thousand dollars and up. And I'm talking about three, four kids. So somebody spent about three thousand dollars on court side tickets for their kids. You think that kind of person got time to sit up there and be making some damn memes about Angel Reese and making them naked? You think them fans are the ones on there that's talking shit about y'all on y'all y'all comment section? Because your game is boring, Asia. It's really boring. Yes, you are good. But if you are in the NBA, you play like Chris Bosh. And I told you, ain't nobody lining up to watch Chris Bosh play. So you have to face it. It is your game. It is that league. And you assholes tried to make us believe that it was better than it used to be. No, it's still the same shit. And you dropped the ball with somebody who's going over to Europe right now. Kayla's going to Europe. And, and, and why? I don't know. I mean, maybe she just want to go over there on vacation. But I'm telling you, they can offer a lot more over, over there in Europe to go play. They can offer a lot more. And you guys want to try to tell me that y'all wanted to have her go play in Unrivaled? Y'all dropped the ball with that shit too. Y'all are creating a three-on-three basketball league to take place in January. You really think we want to watch more women's basketball without Kaitlyn Clark in it? You really think we want to watch more Women's basketball, because it's three on three now, because it's one on one with the exact same women who play in the WNBA that most Caitlin Clark fans are looking at like, man, we don't want to see them play. Now, after they go over there and start a league, y'all fumbled, y'all fumbled, y'all thought that I was going to get Caitlin Clark over there. How the hell y'all going to pay them women $750,000 contracts it, for a year, a year's pay? To go play three on three and one on one, but the WNBA can't do that for their women? How can y'all do it? Who are y'all shit ran by? Is it the mob? The mafia is funding this shit? Where y'all getting this money from? And y'all got the same athletes that I didn't want to see go play in the WNBA that signed up over there. I don't want to go watch them no Brittany Ground to go play no more. And she finna go sign. I don't want to watch that. You better go sign up for Europe. You crazy as hell if you do, though. You already ass already got locked up over there once before. Hey, go take your crazy ass back over there again. U.S., y'all better not trade her for no damn uh, uh, monster like y'all had that motherfucker. What was, the, what, was, what was his name? He's like the king of guns or some crazy shit like that. We traded him. That man, the king of war, some crazy shit. We didn't trade him for Brittany Griner, the WNBA basketball player. <laughs> what the the <laughs> He like the killer of war, some crazy name like that. They they swapped him like that's the even trade. They don't have even trade. This motherfucker's a killer. He better go over there and give them all the secrets. What are you doing, America? Look, WNBA is that woman that you can't get rid of, that just keep effing your life up. She just keep messing your damn life up. NBA, why do you cut her off? She's that mistress that you can't get rid of. Like she got some dirt on you. What dirt do you have on the NBA? WNBA, what dirt do you have? Because I'm telling you, this shit is terrible. It's a terrible ass league. They talk about the viewership is going down. It ain't going down. It's going back to what it normally is. This is what it normally is for the WNBA when when Kaitlyn Clark is not there. This is what it is. Imagine how the WNBA was in 2023, guys. Let's let's think about it. How was the WNBA in 2023? None of us knows because we wasn't watching this shit. We just started watching it right now in 2024. Everything that you see right now, it feels like it's just brand new, but it's old as shit because I seen this shit before I didn't want to watch it. It was brand new with the addition of Kayla Clark, me watching how good she was out there. But it was the same old bullshit that I watched in 1997. Nobody wants to do that. To, nobody's going to continue to do that to themselves. You can, you, you can keep doing it to yourself if you want to. Hell no. Nah. Asia is not going to be the box office draw that's going to bring everybody over to watch no damn WNBA basketball. You're not going to be it, Asia. You, your basketball game is boring. She's talking about this is the most people I ever had tell me that my game is boring. Because you have more people actually watching your game. Not the same people that's been watching your game because they're thirsty. You got, they thirsty out there checking you out, Asia. For real. And they're going to be really upset when you pull that Candace Parker move on their ass in about two or three years after you have your kids with Bam or something like that. You already know they're going to get you. The, the, the WNBA is going to get you just like they got Candace Parker. Listen, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look it up for yourself. And you're going to be like, oh, shit, Chocolata, that's messed up. Look, if you make it to the end of this video, go find out for yourself what I mean about the, the WNBA getting Asia and turning her into the new Candace Parker. Y'all go ahead and go look that up for yourselves.
Go ahead and look it up. And when you find it, just put a thumbs up in there that you went and found it. If you make it to the end of this video, go do that for yourself. And do this for me as well, guys, because this is the end, right? If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when you go and drop live streams. Look, look, guys, I am out. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I truly, truly, truly do. Once again, hey, hit that like button for your boy because it triggers the algorithm to get your boy pumping and going out there, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Y'all take care. Peace.